This is Texas. We like guns and we like them a lot. As of late, the likes of Joe Rogan and Elon Musk have expressed a desire to leave California and move to Texas. And what's the story? You moving? I'm out of here. Yeah. When, when do you leave? Soon. Yeah. Texas or? Yeah, I'm going to go to Texas. We broke the news for you on our free Two Works For You app. Tesla picking Austin, not Tulsa, as the site for its new assembly plant. I, I love Joe Rogan and I love Elon Musk. So this excites me and you can't really blame them because if we're honest, 2020 has proven that a lot of these super far leftist, wokey woke social justice warrior cities are messed up. 2020 and the bag of chaos it brought with it has exposed the far left leadership and policies in these cities. People are realizing that the mini socialist experiment in these cities isn't working. They're getting tired of the excessive poverty, the excessive open drug use, excessive taxes, the lawlessness, the rampant crime. And when these people tried to buy guns to protect themselves from this chaos, a lot of them realized they couldn't because of the extremely restrictive gun laws in these places. That's it. It's time to look around and say, wow, I pay 13.8% in tax. The police is getting defunded. The prisoners are getting out and crime is on the rise. And I have a daughter in my house. I believe that in the coming months and years, there is going to be a wave of people moving away from places like California and moving to more gun friendly states like Texas. And rightfully so, because Texas is awesome. So come one, come all to the great state of Texas. But before you do, let's get one thing straight. This is not an invitation to simply transfer the of California to Texas. We Texans are very inviting to people from California, but that doesn't mean we want you to California or Texas. Don't bring any of that weirdo anti-gun ideology that you all had in your state to Texas. Don't get me wrong. There are aspects of California that I absolutely love. Bring the women, bring the weather, bring the fashion, bring the movies, bring the music, but we don't want your universal background checks. We don't want your high capacity magazine ban. We don't want your assault weapon ban. We don't want your waiting periods. We don't want your gun registry. We don't want your open carry ban. We don't want your concealed carry ban. And we don't want your gun free zones. This is Texas. We like guns and we like them a lot. Sadly, however, we're starting to see the Californication of Texas in places like Austin, Houston, and Dallas, where some of the early transplants are voting for the same types of leaders and policies that are responsible for running California into the ground in the first place. You just had the mayor of Austin saying this nonsense. We have too many guns uh, and, and we have to do better, I think, just generally speaking as a society and taking, taking guns off the streets like this. Robert Francis Simulier will go down in history as one of the most anti-gun politicians in history after saying this. Hell yes, we're gonna take your AR-15, your AK-47. And he almost became a United States Senator of Texas and I highly doubt that it was Texas natives who voted for him. Then you got the overlord of gun control, Michael Bloomberg and his band of box wine drinking misfits, Every Town for Gun Safety, formerly known as Moms Demand Action, who is literally investing millions into Texas to specifically get anti-gun politicians elected into office in Texas. And guess who they're targeting as their voter base? All of you California and New York transplants. They literally want to turn Texas into the same place you're trying to run away from. Moms Demand Action is part of Every Town for Gun Safety, a national nonprofit that advocates for gun control. Founded by, but now operating independent of, billionaire Democratic presidential candidate Mike Bloomberg. Every town will spend $8 million in Texas in 2020, campaigning for candidates who will vote for stricter gun laws. Over here, we like freedom and we like our guns. We don't like to be coddled and we like our governments limited. And when people do stupid sh there are real consequences. So if you're one of those people who want to leave places like California and New York and want to move to a place like Texas or any state like it, bring your guns, bring your ammo and bring your manners. But please leave all that gun control mess over there. Don't come over here and start trying to vote in the same leaders and policies you're now running away from. If that's what you're on, stay over there. We don't want stupid people. We want good people who are living in a stupid city or state. So if this is you and you're coming to embrace freedom, the Constitution and the Second Amendment, welcome to Texas. 
Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.